Hi there, I'm Anna Goose and welcome to the short fashion therapy channel in which I talk about fashion trends, brands and creative people. For today's topic, I've prepared the freshness news from the Met Gala, Celine, Chanel and the Spanish conglomerate book. And also I want to talk about Swarovski and a new fashion trend called Mob Wives. So if you are interested in these topics, please. Stay tuned. Let's start with the main topic from the Met Gala 2024. To be more precise, the mass market brands that dress celebrities with their archive and custom-made dresses. And these are brands that you definitely know and have in your wardrobe, H&M and Cup. The dress code for the Met Gala 2024 was Garden of Time and the title was Sleeping Beauties, Rewaking Fashion which meant attendees had to dress in outfits referencing the natural world and focusing on the need for sustainability and reusing items in a new way. I've noticed that brands were mainly focused on flowers and lots of celebrities' gowns included roses, branches, flowers. Anyway, H&M dressed six people this year. Two looks came from H&M Special Collection archives. All these beautiful women were dressed, appeared in H&M Guard. Meanwhile, Gap dressed Oscar, award-winning actor in custom-made denim gown crafted by Gap Inc.'s creative director Zach Posen. You might be wondering what mass market brands were doing at the Met Gala. So H&M has been participating in the Met Gala since 2015, so for them it was it has become an annual event in which they dress a celebrity, but this year they dress more people than the high fashion brands, which is why the noise around each and them is higher than in previous years. Two more words about the Met Gala and we're finishing. Swarovski also took part and showcased incredible and bespoke custom-made outfits for Carly Kloss, Iman Haman, Anokia and Irina Sheik, which are impossible not to mention. All these pieces were crafted by Joanna Engelberg and her team. Joanna was the first ever creative director of Swarovski and she has transformed the brand, making it more popular and stylish than ever before. Swarovski is an old brand which was founded by Daniel Swarovski in 1895 in Austria. Before COVID, I knew Swarovski as a brand that crafted only crystal statues and grandma jewelry, which really wasn't. But then they hired Joanna Engelbert, who turned the whole notion about Swarovski upside down in a positive and modern I want to pay a huge respect to Swarovski for not being afraid to invite such a creative and extraordinary person to their first ever creative director. Swarovski has turned from an ugly duckling into a fashionable and trendy swan. Joanna Battaglia Engelbert was born and raised in Milan and before Swarovski, she worked as a stylist and writer for Vogue Japan and W Magazine. I remember her as one part of the most discussed stylish duo with Anna Del Russo. Two of them slayed every fashion week they attended like no one else. Engelbert was appointed creative director in 2020, but since then she has changed everything. As she has said in interviews, her aim was to give Crystal a new, cooler and smarter dimension. The first changes she made were to the jewelry itself, completely changing the small, old-fashioned style for beautiful in-your-face pieces. Then she changed the design of the stores to sumptuously stylish boutiques, which attract your attention miles away. In 2023, under her creative direction, Swarovski collaborated with Skims to create crystal encrusted bodysuits, dresses and tops, and their next collaboration was with Bella Hadid for their holiday campaign. 
And last but not the least, the collaboration with Irina Sheik, Carly Claus, who along with a high-profile media campaign attending the Met Gala 2024 in custom-made Swarovski pieces. I think Joanna is a lucky ticket for Swarovski to have changed everything so much. In such a short period of time was mission impossible, but Joanna has easily risen to the challenge. Chanel has increased the price of their bags. Yes, again. The piece of its classic flap is now 10,000.8 K dollars, which is nearly twice its 2019 price of $5,800. Are Chanel bags a good investment? Can you tell me please this? Chanel's chief financial officer commented that the price increase is due to currency fluctuations and inflations, and they do it every second year. Despite this, Chanel bags are still sold before they ever hit the shelves. This tells us that while people might criticize these increases, the core audience is still buying Chanel. But which group do you fall into? Do you think the prices are getting crazy or would you still buy on as investment? In my previous video, I mentioned that Tris Van Noten has joined the Spanish conglomerate Puk. But what is Puk? You have heard about LVMH carrying enrichment. Puk is a similar conglomerate and their portfolio includes Rabanne, Carolina Herrera, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Nina Ricci, Tris Van Noten and lots of other brands. According to their press release, they have great news. Having floated the company on the stock market this year, their share price has risen sharply. The money raised will allow the fragrance and fashion group to make further acquisitions. Speculation about Hedis Lehmann leaving ceiling is gaining momentum. If this were to be confirmed, it would be a sensation in the fashion world. He arrived at Celine in 2018, replacing Phoebe Philo, and since then the designer has modified the brand's visual identity, bringing his signature all-black slim fit aesthetic to the label. He has created new iconic pieces, redesigned stores, and increased the profit of the company. Above all, he launched Celine's first ever men's line. The month's six-year contract with LVMH came to a close in early 2024, and while the designer and conglomerate are still in active negotiations, no announcements has been made yet. Sources are reporting that the main reason why Sliman might leave the brand would be if his demands aren't fulfilled. So we will have to wait and see what happens. And mob wives fashion trend. Oh, I second very much. Over the last few years, we've seen Barbie core, mermaid core, tennis core, ballet core, among others. And the latest aesthetic core group to hit the fashion industry is mob wives. What is mob wives? In simple words, this is the opposite to minimalist core. And the mob wife's fashion style is about the glamour, chic, and extravagance that reflects the lifestyles and personalities of the women featured on the reality television shows. Real examples of mob wives are Chris Jenner, Donatella Versace, and all the style examples. To get into the mob wife's fashion trend, you should wear more high fashion accessories lace, transparency, and eco leather and furs in combination with confidence and self-irresistibility. That's all for today, but before I go, I just want to let you know that I've created a PDF elements which will help you to live up your social media content. 
It is super easy to use and you can find a video tutorial to help you use them. All links below.